Welcome back to Sports Showtime. I'm now privileged enough to have analysts Jeff Crowd and Seth Lewis join me here in the studio. It was a big weekend for LSU sports, but we'll kick things off, guys, with women's basketball. They've now won five straight in the SEC, including victories over top 25 ranked Florida and past Summit's own Tennessee Volunteers. Seth, you take this one first. What does that do for their NCAA tournament resume? Well, Brian, this does wonders for their tournament resume. Things didn't look so good for LSU when they started our SEC play going five and four. With their five straight wins, they're a virtual lock for the NCAA tournament. In the midst of these games, they picked up impressive wins on the resume against 11th ranked Florida and 23rd ranked Tennessee. These wins now have the Lady Tigers climbing up the ranks, landing only two spots out of the top 25 for the week. Look for the Tigers to climb up the ranks and receive as high as a five seed and possibly a four seed if they can pull the upset and win the SEC tournament. Seth, I'm going to have to agree with you that, right there. Um, this definitely doesn't get a chance for LSU making the tournament. We all knew that it would be a tough season for the Lady Tigers after losing all those seniors from a year ago. But Cool Chancellor has his team playing at a high level, and they're really starting to form their own identity. Now, it's important that they have a good showing in the SEC tournament this week, winning at least one or two of those games. But I do see this team getting into the tournament. After impressive wins over Tennessee and Florida, they've overachieved a little bit this season. And it could make some noise in the tournament, but I still think this team is one year away from really being a, con a contender. All right, now speaking about the NCAA tournament, the LSU men's basketball team definitely has a strong resume. Since losing to Xavier in late January, the Tigers are 10-0. They're averaging almost 80 points per game while holding their opponents to just 71.2 points per game. Leading scorer Marcus Thornton stepped it up big time, averaging 24.8 points per game. And you cannot forget Mr. Clutch, Tasman Mitchell, with 19.2 points. And oh yeah, I almost forgot they already clinched the regular season SEC title. That being said, if the Tigers close the season out with two wins and make a run or, dare we say, win the SEC tournament, that's what's their seed and how far do you see the LSU going in the big game? Well, Brian, the Tigers are the hottest team in America. Trent Johnson has his team playing great basketball, and if, it, if they're able to win an SEC tournament, I don't see how this team cannot get a number two seed. I know this is a so-called down year for the SEC, but the Tigers have done what they needed to do. They've dominated the conference and still haven't gotten the recognition they deserve. But with all that said, I think they will get a four seed because of the weakness of the conference and the lack of quality wins over the top 25 opponents. Jeff, even if they do only get a four seed, for LSU, the skies is the limit. With the Tigers finally getting the national recognition they deserve, they are already a lock for the tournament. But if they end up winning the SEC championship, it can bring LSU to heights they never expected. With the Tigers already ranked 11th in the country, they might be able to slip into as high as a two seed with some help from some other teams. Once they get into the tournament, if Trent Johns can get his team to play the consistent defense that they have exerted all year, the Tigers can pull off some upsets and possibly get to the Elite Eight, or may I even say, the Final Four. All right, guys, over to the baseball dime. The Tigers are living up to their number one preseason ranking. They've been crushing opponents, including a 16-0 performance against Central Florida on Sunday. Earlier, we saw the team and Coach Maneri, what the team and Coach Maneri thought, but where will we be without the opinions of you guys? Seth, take a stab at this one first. Is this a lack of competition, or is LSU just that good? Well, I think it's a combination of both. I mean, opponents like Villanova, Southern, and UCF are teams that you expect for the Tigers to beat. The Tigers are on a mission this year, and these early teams are just appetizers for their main course, the College World Series. LSU has shown their hunger, beating teams by double digits most games. And the lowest they won a game this season is by three. And as a team, they are batting 369. Yes, the Tigers still have a lot more to prove as the season goes on. But as of now, they are showing why they have the number one ranking in the nation. Yeah, Seth, I'm going to have to agree with you one more time. I think it's definitely a combination of both things. You know, yes, the Tigers haven't played a top team yet, but they're destroying their opponents. And with the great one they had last season, this team has developed a swagger that they expect to win every time they take the field. Just look at Leon Landry. We all know he's an amazing center fielder, but he's putting it together behind the plate this year. He already has five homers this season, equaling his home run total from a year ago. These may be tune-up games for the Tigers, but they're definitely the number one team in America. Now, they have a big matchup tonight against you and no, and it may turn into another thriller like we saw several times last season. All right, guys, thanks for coming in discussing some hot topics in LSU sports. Y'all seem to agree a little bit too much now. We've got to switch our questions up to get a little arguing going on in the forum. But it's time to let our sponsors get a word in. But when we come back, we'll have the top five plays of the weekend. Stay tuned. You're watching Tiger TV Sports Showtime. Welcome back to Sports Showtime. Another Tuesday here at Sports Showtime and another top five plays of the week. Starting at number five, Jared Mitchell steals second. The Tigers have 29 stolen bases already this season, and keeping that up, they could maybe have 230 for the whole season. Play number four, Marcus Thorne with the circus layup for the two points against Kentucky. I'm, I'm still a phrase from Mary Claire here. Whoop! The two-point basket there. 
In at number three, Jared Mitchell again back at the plate this time. He's going to hit two home runs during Sunday's game. He's a beast at the plate. Any pitcher's fear. And coming in at our play number two is the woman I would love to marry if she accepts. Ashley Claire Kearney with her favorite event, The Vault. Ashley scores a 9-9-5 here. She has yet to get a 10 so far in the season, but I can feel it coming. And finally, at number one, we couldn't give it to anyone else but the big man, Tasman Mitchell. As Marcus Thornton here dumps it off to him, he's going to score the game-winning three to take the Tigers ahead against Kentucky. And we're going to show it to you again because it was just that pretty. And that win against Kentucky was also just that pretty. All right, well, that's going to do it for us here at LSU Sports Showtime. You can catch the rebroadcast of this show on Tiger TV tonight at 6.30. Or if you're off campus, you can catch us on Cox Channel 4 at 11.30 and WBTR Channel 19 at midnight. You can also, also check us out on the web at www.tigertv.tv. Thanks for watching. As LSU's own Les Miles would say, have a great day. Shoot sports, show time in the towns, get the scoop on the ball and sneak peek on the track. Key in on the field when them tigers attack. In fact, you get it back a few times a week. But it starts on Tuesday, third day of the week. They're beasts when they broadcast, increase like a fall class. Critique when I speak by my squad in the quad, man. Yeah, they the stars on the quad, man. That's the TVC, Tiger TVP. Every game, every start, every player, every situation they facing the star in the making. And you get it first exclusively.